Hello, hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jacques. It's good to see you. Mm. <laughs> we are continuing with our adventure um, in Aldea. We've just finished our first semester um, at the William Academy. <laughs> And now we are continuing on our own personal quest because we have gaps between semesters and we are looking for something. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay, so the Choose Your Own Adventure is part of the Magical Readathon and is happening across the whole year of 2023 and is hosted by Magical Readathon. This is part two of the Choose Your Own Adventure and uh, I shall link, <coughs> pardon me, part one up here for you and also there is a playlist labeled Magical Readathon and you can, and you can see everything, my entire journey, from the start. So that will all be linked there and then it'll go in order. Now this part of my journey, um, I'm going back to my homeland. I'm Kellen. Kellen is from Kerador and Kellen is hunting for something because Kellen wants to, is, 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 Kellen is on I say Karen. Karen. <laughs> because Kellen is on a mission. He, he wants to level up. Okay, so his next thing is his next his next lead is taking him back to Kerador. So he's gonna do that. Um because there's this a scroll in a tower, okay? That, that that he needs to find and that he needs to claim. Mm -hmm. uh, so for the first part of this journey we are going back to Kerador and in order for us to do that I need to read a book that ends on an odd page number. I'm going with like Clockwork by Margie Orford courtesy of Jonathan Ball Publishers. And this ends on page 317. 317. Mm -hmm. uh, this was part of my April Magical Reads on TBR. Well, it wasn't part of the TBR. It was part of the April TBR. It wasn't part of the Magical Reads on. So this was extra. Um, I didn't get a time to finish this in April. April was very busy. I spent... A lot of time catching up in May. It's currently <laughs> the twentieth, <laughs> but it's counting. So, um, yeah, this is that. <laughs> Still part of magical readers on now because we're doing it as two journey adventures. So, um, we're gonna get to that. Okay. Um, I'm fifty pages in so far. And, um, it's, yeah, there's been a murder of a young girl, she's 17. Uh, I'll add a spoiler alert in again, because, spoilers, that's <laughs> your warning. <laughs> uh, anyway, as it says there, there's been a sadistic murder. Okay, um... So they find this girl on, on Seapoint Promenade and she's, all sorts of things have been done to her and the throat, the throat has been cut after she died, eyes have been cut, da, 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 and she was posed um, in, in a certain way with certain things um, as if to give a message but you know we obviously still need to figure that out um, and now we entered Dr. Claire Hart, who is a pathologist, uh, sorry, 
an investigative journalist and a criminal profiler. Why did I say pathologist? Maybe because one of them is in here. And she lives on the promenade, so, you know, somebody who saw the body there found when they could call her, then she called it in. Um, and then enter Ridwan, who is um, a disgraced cop, but he's still a cop. It doesn't say here on the back. I don't know how to, I don't know how to suss him out. He has, he had an alcohol problem. He made some wrong choices. Um, oh, yes, I know what happened. That's right, that's right, that's right. So, yeah. Because he was a hero, you know, no good deed goes unpunished. And because it was his own blood, it, it's a thing. So, he was shunted off to a desk job. Disgraced, okay. Um, but he has worked with KB4. I think, from what I've been reading, that they might have had a thing in the past. Even, yeah. So, it's getting to the point where she is now going to work with him as a criminal profiler. Um, and they've taken ballistic reports and all these things. And she's now got that. So, that is where we are in this book. I like the writing. Um... I haven't formed any opinions yet um, because I'm, I'm getting into the story, but the writing is okay. Um, I will give you more thoughts on that later, okay? Um, like I said, the story is intriguing so far. Of course, of course, you know, Dr. Clear Hart has her own secrets and histories and, you know, things that nobody knows about. So this is going to be so good. So, so good. Hi. So, <laughs> we got a new written thing. Yeah, because my old one was breaking, broken on site. So I went yesterday and they said five different days and it came today. So, yeah. Hey. Okay. June, it is freezing. So we have gone from Marillion back to Carador and, and unfortunately it's now it's now winter here in, in my hometown. <laughs> Hence all the cold weather way. So let's continue where we left off, shall we? Hmm. Okay. So, on the journey, we had to read a book that ends in an odd number, and we've been reading Like Clockwork by Margie Orford, South African author, published by Jonathan Ball Publishers, South Africa, um, and yes, so now, now we've finished this book, and it's really, 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 really good, it's really good, I was very surprised by this book, let me tell you. Um, the characters are awesome. I love them. I love. I love Claire. I'm. I'm really looking forward to the next one. And thank you, Jonathan Ball, for sending me three more in the series. So, I'm gonna get on that ASAP. But, um, it's a solid start to the series. Everything gets tied up nicely, except that I feel there are a couple of things that I'm missing. Okay, um, spoilers. Um, I feel that uh, the history between Ridwan and Claire isn't 
cleared enough, hasn't made itself clear enough. We 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 still don't know. Maybe it'll it'll we'll get more in the books to come. Maybe maybe it's meant to be that way. But as a, as as book one, okay, fine. But as a standalone, and then also some of the symbolism from the murders. So I don't think um, we got anything like specifically the color blue. Um, and again, spoilers, it can't be nail polish because some of them weren't wearing blue nail polish. Because cause the blue, anyway. Maybe I missed something. I don't know, but I get that feeling. Otherwise, this is really good. It's, 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 it's well paced, okay? Um, and stole from different POVs, so you get mm -mm -mm, uh, insights from, from different perspectives. Um, four stars, and I highly recommend this one. Do go and check it out if you can. Da 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 da, like clockwork, by Margaret Orford. Uh, and now for June, we have to explore. A tower, a wizard's tower, because there's something we need to find, but we need to get to this tower. Um, and in order to do that, we need to read a book that has a prologue. <laughs> and it's also June, so, you know, yay for queer books. We're going to go with God Killer by Hannah Kana, Hannah Kana, Hannah Kana. Um, do, 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 do. this is queer, it's fantasy, it's mythology, well, this class is a mythology, um, and it has a prologue. That's, that's like that. So, we shall get to the table with this book. I have to admit, I'm already, I'm already in, I'm, I'm behind in recording my stuff. It's the 20, it's the 20, Sunday the 25th of June. Um, and I am already 106 pages in. And I am loving this book. Absolutely, absolutely loving it. The writing is mesmerizing. The characters are... Mm, yep. Characters are phenomenal. Also, uh, this may be spoilery, but disability rep, our main our MC, only has one leg. Uh, so also, the other one, similar to this one that I've read, not similar to this one, but it also has a disabled character with one leg, is the retelling of Red Riding Hood by the girly that does it. Where is it if I find it? I shall insert a photo, a picture. It's this book that I'm talking about. I can't think of it right now and it's, and I can't see it in front of me. So this, this MC also has one leg. This MC also has one leg. So yay for disability. Rep. Also, there's, there's queer relationships everywhere. I mean... MC flirting with a barmaid, female, female, sapphic. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I can't pick, I can't tell you more because spoilers, but lots of, lots of, lots of queer relationships. It's, it's like totally heteronormative. Love it. Totally, totally love it. Um, but yes, this is also, it's, it's nicely paced. I absolutely love how well paced this is, how nicely paced it is. And, and, mm, mm. The writing is so good. It is so good. You know what? I've been in a slump and I thought that the sun and the stars, the sun and the star by um, Rick Ryden would, would pull me out of it. Um, yeah, no, but this might, this, this, this absolutely, absolutely might because I'm just dying to go back into reading it. Absolutely dying to go back into reading it. So this is where we are. And let's get to that tower. But it's cold, you guys. It's very cold. It's very cold. But we shall persevere and we shall push on. And we need to get to find. We need to find what we need to find. Because it's important. It's important. 
continuing on the journey. Hello again. Welcome to July. It's the middle of July. Um, and have you ever had one of those times when you read a book and you need to write the review, but then you just can't get your thoughts to simmer down so that you can collect them nicely? <laughs> well, that's my problem with this book because this is five star for me, God Killer by Hannah Kainer, and. I'm sitting in front of my computer and I just, I just can't, I just can't. Now, this was my pick for last month. This is me climbing to the wizard's tower. Um, so I can go find that scroll. I need to find that scroll. That's, that's happening in July. So this was my June pick. It is amazing. Okay. Um, the writing is mesmerizing. Um, you just don't want to put it down. You want to pick it up as soon as you can again. Um, <clears throat> the characters are incredible. The world is fantastic. Um, it's uh, very queer normative, by the way. I did mention earlier in this video, I was going to say queer normative, but out came heteronormative. I didn't even notice that I said that when I said that. I only... <laughs> noticed when I watched it back, so I do apologize for saying that. This is very queer normative. Um, <laughs> so, yes, there's queer people everywhere, blah, 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 blah. Um, <sighs> See, I'm stuck with things to say about it. the book. I, I just, I don't know where to start and how to... This is this is awesome. This is like a high fantasy, but but it's not okay. Um, it's, it's is it young adults? I don't know if it's young adults, but it's very well paced. It's an excellent opening to a series. I, I can't wait. I just absolutely can't wait to get to book two, um, which isn't available yet. I know. I know. Uh, what what else can I say? I love the dynamic between the characters. Um, uh, the yeah, they make it. They make an, a very weird assortment of characters, um, and it's kind of like something that you would find in a Final Fantasy game because they have very very weird characters in the games. Um, before seven, eight, nine. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <clears throat> and and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Um, the problem though with kissing. Oh, apparently this means hello in German or Dutch, hello, or Swedish something <laughs> it's a god killer um so she's like a mercenary and she goes and gets hired by people who want to get rid of the gods because the time of the gods has passed and man is now taking it all back because gods are getting greedy and demanding him sacrifice and 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 so 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 she has sub out to As a god killer, that's what she does. Um, but this little girly wakes up one day and finds this god skitty that's connected to her. It looks like a little mouse or whatever, a little rabbit with the antlers and blah blah blah. Uh, 
Oh, we can grow like that, I suppose. Okay. Um, and they just woke up like that. They're both connected to each other. They can't leave each other. So she comes to kiss him after a while because she can't get help anywhere else. Okay, so she comes to kiss him with a god problem. So she figures out that figures that Kissin might be able to fix it, help fix it, find an answer, I don't know, anyway, um, and on the mission to find the answers, they meet, what's his name, <laughs> a, a, a knight, okay, but who's a baker, it's also, it's a knight who's a baker, so he's going around as a baker, that's his, that's his life now, but he was a knight before, so they meet up, and, and they become a band of people on, on a quest for answers. It is actually extremely good. Um, if I anticipated this, if I was one of those people, this would not be a letdown. This this is amazing. So, yeah, thank you Jonathan Ball Publishers for sending this my way. <laughs> and uh, I highly recommend it. Do you go and check it out if you're into fantasy. Um, do go check it out even if you're not into fantasy. <laughs> it's a good dose of it's, it's it's not mythology. It is mythology because gods, etc. But it's a different take on it. I think. I think it's. I think this is fun. This is this is really fun. It's, it's really a good read. It's mesmerizing. The writing characters are super awesome and intriguing, and and I think they're well written. There is good character growth through all of them. I can't, I can't tell you anymore because that's spoilers. <laughs> um, so yeah. Five stars. Five stars. And now I need to go and write my review. <sighs> Wish me luck. For July, um, we need to grab a scroll of light white whites. And it's in the tower that I've just gotten to. So now, I need to find the, search the tower. I need to find that scroll because the scroll is super important to something that I want to do that, that in my research that, 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 that I want to do. So um, I need to get that. In order for me to do that, I need to read a book when it's the lights. <laughs> yeah, so I've... But you're finding it very hard to do that. Um, mm. Anyway, anyway, so we, I've decided we're going to go with this one. It's called The Body in the Back Garden by Mark Waddle. I'm on tour for this on the 20th of July. <clears throat> it's a cozy mystery. Um, a main character is queer. It's taking place in a place called Crescent Cove in Canada. Yes. Uh, uh, near Vancouver, I think, somewhere around there. I don't know if it's fictional or not. Um, but anyway, Luke's aunt died. They've been estranged. Um, and he lives in Toronto and works in Toronto. And now she's left him a home and her antique store. Forget me not. So cute. So he's got to go all the way back and he's going to go and put everything on the market because his life is in Toronto. When all of a sudden, da -da 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 -da, the next morning he finds a body lying in the pond in his garden within the house that he's trying to sell. So, of course, now he can't go anywhere. All he wants to do is be there a couple of days, but now he has to be there longer. But I'm halfway through. And it's fun. The characters are interesting. I love them. There's, there's the Colin with rich and eccentric. We love those. And then the Doctor, uh, who's lesbian. And they got Luke. Oh, there's a Mountie. Yes, his name's Jack and he's gay. That's cool. And and Luke is gay. And then there's the socialites that are gay. We'd be following the guys and the girls for a change. That's so awesome. It's actually, it's actually a fun read. The writing is actually very, very good. Um... So, this is cool. I'm at this point wondering if it's going to be a book one or if it's a standalone. I don't know. It looks like a standalone. But it's cool. Um, I'm controlling myself and only reading it during daylight hours. 
I'm assuming I can put the light on <laughs> and read, but I don't know. So I'm just reading it in the daylight hours. Um, and I'm currently 57% through. It's a fun read. I love a cozy mystery, actually. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. See you on this side. Bye. Also, um, G posted the video, the, the syllabus, the prompts for the August equinox at Aurelium for the August readathon. Um, luckily for me, I only have to read six books and not nine, um, like I did last year. So, yeah, um, I'm, I need to get onto that. But before I do that video, I need to finish this book so that I can work out what my guilt points are. Because that's what we, what we are starting with next month is that guilt points. Um, I think it's 10 each for each of these books. I'm not sure. Can't remember. I'll go and check. <clears throat> yeah, and then of course I also did... The Alchemist side quest. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video about that or not. And if I'm not going to do a video about that separately, I will mention it in the next video or something. But it's part of the Rillium, the magical readathon, so. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, now bye. <laughs> see you later. Have a good day. Hello again, a couple of days later. Hmm. Mm, sorry. And um, I finished yesterday The Body in the Back Garden, and it is, according to Goodreads, the first in a day, uh, the debut series, the debut of a series, the first in a series. It is so good. It is so good. It, it, it gives you all those vibes. So, as I was saying, so now, um, Luke has to stay, uh, because, obviously, is another suspect, um, spoilers, again, by the way, um, because they need to look into it, so he's the main suspect, but he's, he's not under arrest yet, but he can't leave the town while it's under investigation, so, uh, yeah, he explores the town and la, 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 and he meets his friends and his aunt's friends and everyone sending condolences and his aunt's best friend, Eve, I think her name is, Evelyn, yeah, um, invites him over to a house, sends him a tuxedo because she knows it's going to be the longer he wouldn't have bought a tax for one of these oi polloi soirees, so... La 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 la. They have a couple of flings. You know, the son, Kieran, invites him out on dates, has a dance. They go on, on a boat trip, la la la. But in the meantime, Luke decides that he can't wait about what's going on. So he again takes the investigation into his own hands. Now, because he's an investigative journalist in Toronto, he has a few skills, so he decides he's going to look into these things himself. And even though we can kind of figure out the big bad <laughs> relatively early, it detracts nothing from, from the story. Nothing. It is really a cozy mystery. It's absolutely awesome. And the slow burn between the journalists and the Mountie is... Mm. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the rest of the series. But this is a debut, which means the rest isn't available yet. Uh, the writing is awesome. It's, it's very good. It's, it's, I, I, I love Mark's writing. Uh, uh, the characters are so good. I have nothing bad to say about the book. I actually have nothing bad to say. 
I loved it. Four stars. Yes. Yeah, and that brings us to the end of this three month leg of the Magical Readathon. I need to hoof it back to Aurelium um, because the Academy is about to start and I need to choose my Academy. My syllabus. I need to get my books in order because I need to go and sit and write. Um, this is what my Guild Points looks like currently. Please note that I have not added the Alchemist points yet. Um, because I haven't decided if I'm going to do a video for it or not. And also when I go into the next video, the mag next Magical Readers on video, which will be the TBR for August, then those points will be there. Cool. So now I earn 10 points for each of these completed tasks. Netting me another 30 points, and we are now going to be this far in the guild, and we're super close to the next level. So yes, thank you very much for coming along with me, this is where we at, and I, it's, it's, it's the end of, the middle of July. It's middle of winter. <laughs> it's cold. I can't wait for the winter to go away. I'm not meant for the cold. I'm not. Anyway. From a cold Cape Town. Until the next Magical Reason video. Bye. <laughs>